Now to the high-profile murder case against Jeremy Christian. His fate is now in the hands of a jury. Those 12 men and women have to decide if Christian is guilty of murder for stabbing three men on a Max train more than two years ago, killing two of them. Let's get now to Fox 12's Drew Reeves. He's live in studio with the very latest on what the jurors will be considering. Yeah, the case was handed over to the jury this evening, late enough, though, that they haven't actually begun deliberations yet. But after 8 a.m. tomorrow, a verdict could come at any moment. For about 45 minutes, jurors were read 21 pages of instructions tonight. It is your duty to weigh the evidence calmly and dispassionately. Then they were tasked with making a decision. You have a job to do. Not going to be fun. Jeremy Christian faces charges including first degree murder, which the jury must vote unanimously to find him guilty of. The evidence is actually clear. Two people are dead. One carries a scar on his neck for the rest of his life. Two young girls are traumatized. If they don't unanimously find him guilty, they may consider lesser charges. His motivation was to defend himself, not to commit murder or the other crimes. That's why he's not guilty. Lawyers made their final case today. Prosecutors say the evidence overwhelmingly shows that Christian intended on killing those men on the MAX train. It doesn't even seem like I need to argue too much whether or not we prove that case to you. The evidence in this case is, it's overwhelming. It's insurmountable. But the defense said Christian was exercising his free speech and acted out of self-defense. He was thrown down twice and told to get off the train. And that's the moment that his limbic system took over. And that's the moment when intent starts to become questionable. And that's the moment when self-defense becomes real. During rebuttal, the state argued self-defense can't be applied here because Christian was provoking a physical altercation. It's the defendant that threw down Mr. Nankamechi's phone. It's the defendant that shoved Micah Fletcher. And it's the defendant that shoved Halesian Nankamechi first. First. Now it's up to the jury to decide why this all happened. Jurors have been asked to arrive at 8 a.m. tomorrow and deliberations will begin once everyone gets there. Whether it takes hours, days or weeks, we will keep you updated as to what the jury decides right here on Fox 12. Live in studio, Drew Reeves, Fox 12, Oregon.